Good morning. Uh, this is Barbara, Hippie Homesteader Wannabe. I'm out in the backyard and we had a little bit of an ice storm. It's January 1st. You can kind of see my yard. You can kind of see the iciness of it, maybe. Um, I'm being careful where I step because on this very back step is where I slipped and fractured my ankle a few years ago. So anyway, yeah, this is trashy back here, but you can kind of see the the icicles. But you can also see liquid water, so I don't think it's as slick out here as I was worried. But I have a little container of of uh, de-icer just in case, but I don't think it's as icy as I thought. But anyway, I've got to go take care of the chickens. And in order to do that, I gotta go into the garage, which means I gotta walk through here and go. And this is wanting to slide on top of the dumpster because <laughs> of the ice. But anyway, I will um, fill you in on what's going on with the chickens when I get inside there. This is Rudy. Anyway, he's mad at me. Let me close that down there. He's mad at me for having to be in the hospital here, but he had a bloody place on his side. and So anyway, that's the, probably the one who did it there. But actually, when I cleaned him up last night and looked at him up close, it didn't look too bad. So one day in the hot box might do him some healing. He was kind of favoring one of the feet, too. He's not too happy about things. I need to give him some food, and then we'll go check on the rest of them and feed them. Well, I didn't put any other food outside this morning because of the ice. So they've got three different places to eat in here. And I put a little bit of the good food in each one, so hopefully they won't fight over it too bad. I see an egg back there. If you want to know any of their names, this one guarding the main dish here, that's Patty. She's really a... a <laughs> She kind of bosses everybody else around. I don't know if that means she's the top of the crop or what. See, this one back here. Let's see, yeah, the speckly one there. I call her um, Pepper. And uh, this little pretty gold one up here. I call her Goldie Jr. She was one of the babies. The little rooster I call Little Roo. This, uh... This front, this lady, I call her uh, Tawny because of her pretty coloring. This is Dolores. That, she already had that name when she came. And then this white one is Survivor, and she already had that name. She called that because of the bald spot on her head. And actually, most of these little girls have a bit of a bald spot on their head because of uh, him and uh, maybe... Rudy in there. So, uh, this one I believe is the one I call Goldie. And so, anyway, they have, uh, there's also Goldie Jr. And then, uh, this beautiful one here I call her Patty Jr. Or did I already call her something else? But I don't know. She's one of the babies. She's really, really pretty. Let me hold still. Maybe it'll focus. Isn't she pretty? Okay, well, that's enough. I think that's most of their names. That's Sally there. And, uh, Oru, Pepper. There's one I call Speckles. I think one of them hopped outside. And then, uh, there's Patty Garden, the main dish there. Pepper coming over for a snack. So anyway, I think all that raucous cackling in there is Rudy. Can't blame him, but I do want to keep an eye on him and make sure he's not bloody. So anyway, that's the end of that. And um, anyway, since I'm I'm going to try to post every day through January because of Veganuary, for one thing. And also because I, I want to try to... <laughs> increase, <clears throat> excuse me, increase my, um, online presence, 
She says, I can't eat because Patty's garden of food. If I try to eat, somebody's going to swipe it from me. That's why they like eating outside, as they can spread out more and get a little bit. But, you know, they leave food all the time, so I know they're getting plenty. So anyway, I'm going to say goodbye, and we will uh, uh, check in soon. And yeah, there's an egg there. Can I point at it? <laughs> there's an egg there, and I won't be eating it. I'll be giving my eggs away or feeding them back to the chickens and the dog and and uh, or cooking them for my son this month. So in the spirit of January. So going to take good care of you guys. Peace out. Just thought it was cool how there's ice. This is the inside of the chicken's enclosure. And I don't know if you can see the little icicles hanging on everything. The whole thing is iced up. Every single surface. And I don't know if you can see in there, but where is it? They are not not wanting to come out.